Hello, good evening. Hello, can you hear me? Yes. Thank you, sir. Okay. Hi, good evening. I will be your, um, well, kind of a teacher. I will help you with English uh, in this pre-advanced level. Uh, my name is Jorge Asensio. Nice to meet you all. I think we have Elio Fuentes, Rafael Antonio, Zulma, and Soraya, okay? Only five. So we are going to wait a little bit. Uh, previously to this uh, level, what level did you have before? Pre-advanced one. Pre-advanced one. And this is pre-advanced three, right? Yes, pre-advanced two. Pre-advanced yes. two. Yes. Okay, yes, pre-advanced two. Okay. And for how long have you been uh, studying English? Uh, well, uh, Elio, uh, I am, I, I began studying English when I was studying uh, in high school, in, was in high school. I studied in an academy in San Miguel mm -hmm. for almost three years. I, I get to the intermediate level in that academy. Bloomfield Academy was called that, that um, academy. Then I, when I, <clears throat> I began to work in San Salvador, I went to the Centro, CCS, Centro Cultural Salvadoreño, and I started uh, uh, almost uh, six months or maybe one year. Then I have been studying just listening news and uh, trying to improve my, by myself. That's it, my history. Okay, very good, very good. So you have been studying in many places, different um like ways to learn English and also listening to news, right? And different things, right? Okay, but you like English. You like to, to learn and everything. I love English. I like it. I, I like, I like. Okay, and in your job, do you practice English? Do you use English? No. Uh, I, uh, I, I work with public, but... Uh, Mm -hmm. That's in Spanish. Yes, people listen to Spanish. They ask for laws and different kind of administration uh, question. Because I work at ITFA. ITFA is the place that the retired people from the for, from the El Salvador Army Forces receive the the pension. The I don't know if it's correct say pension or your income. Yeah, the pension is is good. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But nobody speak English, just me, just me by myself. <laughs> just you. Yes. Okay. Okay, very good. So uh, very good. Nice to meet you, Elio. Thank you for being here. And we also have Rafael. Rafael, uh, nice to see you again, Rafael. Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, it's nice to see you again. And it's, it's, it's so nice. Really? Okay. Have you been practicing your English? Um, well, I always, I always try to to sing and speak and and sing in English, but I try it always, always, and I try to learn uh, uh, something new, and here I am to to start to, to speak, to learn, to whatever. <laughs> okay, very good. That's the spirit, that, that's good, that you try to practice and you try to improve your English. That's good, and it's, it's good to see you again because it means that you continue learning, right? You didn't stop, you're still learning. Thank you, me too. Okay, very good, Rafael, thank you. Uh, it's good to see you again. Let's see. We have Zulma. Zulma Perez, are you there? Yes, teacher. 
Okay, how are you, Sulma? For how long have you been studying English? Hello? Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I uh, see. <laughs> okay, for okay. how long have you been studying English? Um, uh, I study English uh, only in, con English corporativo nada más. Only here? Sí, okay. only here. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, and why do you want to uh, learn English? Excuse why, me? Yes, why do you why do you want to learn English? Why to take English and not other language like Japanese or French or German? Why are, are you interested in English? Like mm, um, pues only English. <laughs> only English. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but why do you like it? Porque quiere aprender inglés. Eh, bueno, eh, me gustaría, lo voy a decir así. Mm -hmm. Me gustaría, pues, eh, ser misionera eh, mm -hmm. o ser traductora de los misioneros que vienen a la iglesia y oh. poderle servir al señor de esa manera. Okay, very good, very good. And you have been learning only only English here, right? Only in English corporativo, right? Sí. Okay, very good. That's a good objective. Very good. Nice to uh, meet you, Zuma. Thank you for participating. Yes. Okay, so she she wants to help missionaries, right? Let's see, Estela. How are you, Estela? Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Okay, Stella. For how long have you been studying English? Mm, maybe for for six months. For or six no, months. Uh, one year. One year. One year. One year. Yeah. So you have been studying only here or in other places in school or when you yes, were a child? Here mm -hmm. And also in other places. Okay. And do you like English or why why do you like to or what would you like to keep on learning English? Uh, yes, I like English uh, because uh, it's a requirement uh, to graduate from the university because I'm I uh, I study international relations and I need to learn English. Okay, but yes, it is true. Yes, for that um for that career you need it so it's good to know that you have an objective okay very good thank you stella let's see who else we have here we have uh rebecca pereira how are you rebecca hello i'm fine okay and tell me why do you like to learn english or what is your objective with english the same the classmate and it's a requirement to graduate from my career. And I feel that English is a global language that we can learn more easy. Okay, very good, very good objective. Very good, thank you. We have also Rodrigo, Daniel. Are you there, Rodrigo? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? <laughs> well, good evening. Good evening. <laughs> uh, tell me, what would you like to learn English? Like, keep on learning English, or what is your objective uh, for taking these classes? Well, many of the books that I need to study and other things are in English. Mm -hmm. uh, usually, you can find some information or about some topic or anything and it's very necessary for that thing okay very good perfect it's really necessary that's correct and also for books right if you want to learn different things sometimes they are only in english very good let's see who else is missing here hilda are you there hilda can you hear me hilda Yes, yes, I'm here. 
Okay, Hilda, tell me about your English experience. Have you had a good English experience? What would you like to learn from these classes? What is your objective? I I need to practice English and and, and I wish and, um, progress in, in this model. Okay, very good. And yeah. are you going to use it for uh, your job or for your studies or just because you like English? Mira, I, I, Mira. I wish, uh, um, wait, uh, find a new job uh, in my, in my, in my, I use I, English. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. okay, no worries. <laughs> so you would like to uh, find a new job where you can use your English language? No, no, no. Yes, yes. Okay, or, very or, good. Uh -huh. Or going to, to other country. Okay, very, that's another objective. Uh, yes, to travel to another country. Very good. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you, Hilda. Let's see, okay. we have um, Estella already participated, right? Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. We have Cesar Adonai. How are you, Cesar? What would you like to learn from these classes? What will be your objective? Uh, good evening um, to all, right? Um, when I, I really, um, when I was at school, I hate English, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I was in the high school too. But when when I started at the university, I I understood that the the English is very important in my career. The most useful text is in in English, the articles and and like that. And so for my career, it's very very important because. The, the most useful information is in, in English or French. So that, that's it, it's, it's important for me. And my objective is to improve. Right now, I'm uh, studying here, right? But I, uh, I was studying at the University of El Salvador, but online is more easy for me. So for that, I, I, was, I am here, right? Uh, my objective is improve my listening and my speaking too. Okay, perfect. Very good objectives. Thank you very much for your participation, Cesar. Let's see Erasmo Perla. Are you there? Good evening. Good evening, Erasmo. How are you? Tell me, what would you like to learn from these classes? Yes, um, um, uh, practice is uh, English um, because um, uh, uh, working in the sciences agronomicas, um, uh, luego, uh, I, I have uh, information uh, in English. Um, um, uh, Que pueda accesar, no? mm -hmm. So you would like to learn English for your job? Yes. Okay. Okay. And for you, is is it easy to learn English or is it difficult? Yes. Um, uh, my uh, my uh, I have este difficult. Uh, um, in English. Okay, very good. So you would like to practice more like listening, speaking, writing, all of it? Um, uh, a little, little, um, um, I, lo hablo un poco, escribo un poco, eso. Okay, a little bit, okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, uh, Erasmo. Thank you for your participation. I was reading Soraya's, no problem, Soraya. Um, we are going to, to see if you can participate in the next uh, classes, okay? 
Let's see, Nady. How are you, Nady? Good evening. I'm fine. Okay. Um, yes, go ahead. My, my car is to learn this language well. And because it's important to access job opportunities, I have studied it more or less for a year with um, English Corporative. In addition, I usually try to read and listen to English, but still do not handle it well. Yeah, so we need to practice a little bit more, okay? That's a good point because um, it's not only classes, right? Because in classes, if you have a doubt, we can help you with some doubts and exercises, but you need to include English in your daily life, right? So that's a very a, a very good point that you mentioned, okay? Thank you, Nady. Let's see who else hasn't participated besides Soraya. Zero. Are you there, Ciro? Yes, teacher. I'm here. Okay. Uh, uh, I am nice to meet you, Ciro. Tell me, what are your expectations from these classes, from English classes? Okay. Nowadays, uh, uh, speak English is very important. Mm -hmm. and grow up in, uh, in any company because uh, open the opportunity for grow up and uh, working in the company. Uh, I, okay, uh -huh. go ahead. My goal is to uh, speak English very well uh, and, never, and never give up. Okay, that's good. That's good. Good objective. Like, try to improve every day. That's really good. Perfect. I, Thank you, Sierra. Teacher, Sierra? teacher. Yes, go teacher, ahead. I, I have a problem with the English and when the people speak very fast, uh -huh. very quickly. I don't understand, but I I read I writing very very well and read and reading, but the listening is my problem. But I give it up. I I learn a little, a little, little. <laughs> Yes, exactly. That that's uh, that's really really hard. Like the listening, right? Because we are not used to. We don't speak English like every day with other people. So we will try to improve that. Very good. Thank you, Ciro, for your participation. Let's see, Elizabeth, are you there, Elizabeth? Yes. Hi. Okay. How are you? What are your expectations from these classes, or what what do you like from English? Why do you need um, to learn English? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, by the way, what is your name, teacher? Ah, uh, my name is, sorry, at the beginning I mentioned it, my name is Jorge Asensio, you can call me teacher, you can call me George, you can call me Jorge, no problem. Okay, teacher. Um, I need improving my English because I work in, in when for the, my work is in California. Mm -hmm. And all co workers speak native language, and and I am very difficult the communication. Well, and and I I study computer science, and all when well, the most information is in English, and I need improving this because is my objective is. Um, speaker very fluent and um, improve my ears and just that. Okay, very good, perfect. It's really good. Like, uh, I think I think that we have like similar objectives here, like listening, improving the the speaking, also like to communicate with others. That's really important, and also to find information. Right, really, really good. Thank you, Elizabeth. Uh, let's see who else hasn't participated yet. We have Rodrigo Daniel. Uh, have you participated already? Yes, teacher. Yes, right. Uh, sorry, Sandra, Patricia, how are you? Good evening. Uh, I'm fine. Este, I work for uh, government. 
Mm -hmm. And I need to learn English because I, sometimes I need to read a document in English. And it's very important for the life, mm -hmm. for travel, for training in mm -hmm. the other country. Mm -hmm. In my experience, I, I had a, some course, course in the other country and I need to English, but I try, but it's not easy. Um, in, um, for travel, when uno is, is important in the airport, in the world, um, whatever for yeah for different activities right exactly sandra yes exactly so we will use it for a different things and also in your job right you need it for your job also because you need to read english right document in english so really good nice to meet you sandra uh let's see rodrigo melendez how are you rodrigo Hello, can you hear me? Okay, probably he has some problems. Let's see, Josue Rivas, you already participated, right, Josue? Or not? Josue Rivas, are you there? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Fine. I I learn to I learn I want to learn English mm -hmm. uh, because I I like travel and mm -hmm. and uh, for necessary my work and and another another application. Okay, very good. So uh, for your job to travel also. And, uh, but do you like English or do you think that is really difficult English for you? Like, I didn't know, probably understanding English or speaking English. Um, uh, always, I always diffi I difficult speak English uh, because, because, um, Um, como lo podría decir, siempre se me ha dificultado y por eso siempre lo he querido aprender, además se me hace más que necesario. Yes, exactly. Actually, it's really, uh, well, sometimes it's really useful, right, when you travel um, and also for job opportunities, actually any language that you learn, it's really important, right? But English is, let's say, let's say like it's kind of more popular. Uh, in different countries and you can communicate with more people but yes English is a good option to start but any language is is really useful for job opportunities and also to travel uh, thank you Jose Rivas for your participation now we are 19 I thought that we were going to be like 12 but it, it seems that it's a really large group well kind of large um, so we're going to start right now the classes Um, ¿Hay alguien más que se me haya quedado que quiera participar? ¿Alguien más que no le haya preguntado por qué quiere aprender inglés o qué le cuesta o qué le gustaría aprender? All of you have participated, right? Okay, now we are going, I have to uh, give you the introduction. Creo que esto ya lo han visto anteriormente. Uh, pero les tengo que hacer la presentación. Esto lo voy a decir en español por si ustedes tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, pues se aclara desde el principio, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, solo vamos a ver aquí. So, this is a inglés pre-avanzado, right? Sección... Um, a módulo 2, ¿verdad? Hoy vamos, en esta semana vamos a ver la sección 1 y la sección 2. Have you worked with the platform? ¿Ya trabajaron la plataforma? ¿Ya la vieron? ¿Ya han trabajado con la plataforma ustedes? ¿Ya hicieron algunos ejercicios o algo? Sí, teacher. Yes. Ok. 
perfect. Yes. So, eso lo van a hacer ustedes en su tiempo libre, ¿verdad? Ustedes empiezan a hacer los ejercicios, si tienen alguna duda, lo podemos resolver en la clase o también en el grupo de WhatsApp pueden mandar eh, preguntas, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes lo puedan resolver y tienen que ir pues resolviendo, perdón, resolviéndolo cada semana, este, los ejercicios. So, we are going to practice English. My name is Jorge Asensio, right? So, I will be uh, your facilitator for English, right? Facilitador. And you can contact me through WhatsApp and you can ask different questions. Ahí me pueden preguntar en el grupo de WhatsApp, me pueden hacer cualquier pregunta, ¿verdad? De la plataforma o de los temas o si tenemos alguna tarea. Este, eh, si ustedes algún día no, no pueden prender su cámara o no pueden hablar, solo, por ejemplo, Soraya eh, dijo que hoy no podía uh, hablar, entonces solo me escriben eh, en el WhatsApp o me escriben en el chat que solo van a estar de oyentes para yo saber porque van a haber algunas actividades en las cuales vamos a tener que hablar, por ejemplo, crear conversaciones o este no sé, este, hacer algún tipo de ejercicio en el cual usted tenga que, que contestar algo. Entonces, este, solo me tienen que decir eso antes, ¿verdad? Eh, de la clase para yo tomarlo en cuenta y pues no estarle preguntando, ¿verdad? Solo me dicen que no van a poder contestar y solo van a estar de oyentes. No hay problema. Entonces, eh, como ya saben, en la plataforma ustedes tienen que obtener el 80% de promedio de tareas para poder completar el curso y tener su diploma. ¿verdad? Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada, cada clase y también pueden adelantar contenido, ¿verdad? Ustedes pueden ir viendo o revisando las secciones que vienen. Dice, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro es enviado a Insafor semanalmente. En este caso empezamos martes las clases, pero creo que lo vamos a reponer el viernes Así que vamos a tener solo eh, esta, esa hora de clase el, el viernes a las 8, pero ya van a confirmar en el grupo. Y si tienen alguna pregunta, también la pueden hacer en el grupo, ¿verdad? Si vamos a, a reponer esa clase esta semana o la otra, pero yo creo que va a ser esta semana. Y el material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Este, vamos a utilizar presentaciones. Si ustedes pues les sirven las presentaciones para repasar, para repasar las reglas, etcétera, pues entonces ustedes pueden pedirme la presentación, ¿verdad? Este, ustedes la van a tener ahí en el grupo para que ustedes la vean. Al finalizar la semana, ¿verdad? Al finalizarla. Y hoy, esta semana, vamos a ver la sección 1 y la sección 2. Es bastante información. La semana 2, la sección 3 y el midterm exam. La semana 3 es la sección 4. Y la última, la sección 5 y el final exam. Eso serían todas las tareas y, y todo el material que vamos a cubrir. Entonces, ustedes, eh, si tienen alguna duda, mientras yo explico lo, el material, eh, o si no entienden, este, pregunten, ¿verdad? Eh, o traten de parar la clase, traten de decirme, teacher, ah, yo no entendí, por favor, repita de nuevo, o yo este tema no lo entiendo, o no sé si puede dar más información de esto, o si a ustedes les cuesta el listening también, no sé si podría incluir para la otra semana, para la otra clase, más ejercicios de listening o de, de hablar, porque a mí quisiera yo hablar más. Entonces, este, ustedes me pueden decir eso y yo trato de incluir ese tipo de actividades. Este, pues básicamente eso sería cómo vamos a desarrollar las, las, um, pues los temas, ¿verdad? Y ustedes van a ir viendo que durante la semana todo va a pasar bien rápido. Después de la segunda semana, pues ya básicamente vamos a estar ya finalizando. Ya con las últimas dos, ya todo va a pasar rápido. Las normas de convivencia. Esto es como estamos en clase así en, en virtual. Es un poco difícil, ¿verdad? Este, pero si ponemos de nuestra parte, ponemos atención, ustedes pues van a a tener una mejor experiencia, ¿verdad? Para poder aprender más, eh, para poner más atención. Eh, por ejemplo, tener el botón en silencio, si, por ejemplo, no estamos hablando, porque puede haber ruido a nuestro alrededor, ¿verdad? Este, la lista de asistencia, creo que ya la voy a pasar. Eh, cámara encendida, si es posible, enciendan su cámara 
para que yo los pueda ver y para que ustedes puedan pues eh, participar y pues así poder ver que ustedes están en clase. Si por alguna razón ustedes no la pueden encender, pues muy bien, ¿verdad? No, no hay problema, pero sí se les pide que tengan la cámara encendida. Eh, participación activa por lo mismo, que vamos a estar participando, que es una clase no solo de escuchar, sino que también de de hablar, de hacer diferentes actividades, de escuchar, de leer, de escribir, pues eh, vamos a tener que tener participación, ¿verdad? Voy a tratar de que todos participen porque una hora es algo corta, pero este, vamos a tratar de participar todos. Es por eso que les decía anteriormente, si ustedes por alguna razón de salud o por algo no pueden hablar, pues díganme antes. Levantar la mano, ustedes pueden levantar la mano para hacer preguntas o escribirme a través del chat, ¿verdad? El uso de chats también. Y siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Aquí veo que hay diferentes edades y diferentes eh, pues, pensamientos. Entonces, siempre mantener el respeto con los compañeros, ¿verdad? Y con todos los que vamos a estar en la clase, siempre con respeto. Entonces, sería la asistencia al 80% de las clases. Avance de desarrollo de plataforma de aprendizaje. Inicio de clases, pues es hoy. Y tener la cámara encendida. Esta clase es de 60 minutos. Vamos a trabajar en ejercicios de la plataforma. Eso sí, ustedes tienen alguna duda y después nada más obtienen su diploma. Eh, no sé si tienen alguna duda, algún comentario antes de empezar las clases. Algo que ustedes quisieran decir, algo que ustedes quisieran compartir. Alguna experiencia o algo que quisieran mejorar. Alguna opinión, algún comentario o pregunta. Cada módulo tiene un, un, un diploma. Al final, exacto. Cada módulo tiene un diploma. Exacto. Sí, César Adonai. Eh, ok. Eh, I would like eh, to speak more, right? Because mm -hmm. in the past module, in the past level, mm -hmm. eh, We es, es spoke a, uh, a little bit, so for that uh, this level, uh -huh. I would like to speak more. Okay, y qué tipo de actividades o, o hacían hacían conversaciones, repetían conversaciones, hacían ejercicios. No, the past level only read and so and so the platform like that. So, and listening and speak was uh, less than the, the speak and listen, right? O sea que solo trataban so, de resolver la, la, la plataforma. Solo básicamente yeah. eso, resolver la plataforma. Grammar, gramática, que yeah. si tienen alguna pregunta de la gramática. Okay. Okay, okay, yes. And, We are yeah. going to, to try to change a little bit of that. No problem. ¿Algún otro comentario? ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Alguna otra sugerencia? ¿No? Ok. Yes, Eliu. Sí. Eh, bueno, lo voy a decir en español. Mm. Eh, como esto va por etapas, mm -hmm. eh, me imagino que hay preavanzado, deben de haber unos cuantos módulos y después avanzados cuantos módulos para culminar, digamos, hablar fluido el inglés. ¿Cómo es el, el, la plataforma? O sea, ¿cómo es el programa? ¿Hasta dónde llega uno con este programa? Muy buena pregunta. Este, hay diferentes cursos, ¿verdad? Eh, supongo yo que, como usted dice, hay uh, preavanzado, que sería un, un nivel más, más, un poco más de intermedio, y después el avanzado. Y después supongo yo que habría tal vez algún curso para preparación de algún examen, etcétera. Pero creo que eh, combinaríamos en el avanzado. No sé exactamente cuántos módulos hay, pero si quiere puedo averiguar para ver hasta dónde llega el avanzado, para ver cuántos eh, módulos les, les faltan a ustedes, si ustedes quieren eh, seguir. Pero voy a preguntar, voy a apuntar aquí esto. Teacher, I think yes. that mm -hmm. there are three, three levels, three models for level, right? Mm -hmm. So, pre-avanzado, there mm -hmm. are three, and avanzado and advanced. Mm -hmm. There are three, too. Yeah. Okay. 
Entonces, uh, Cesar dice que hay tres preavanzado y tres de avanzado. O sea, que les faltaría un poco. Recuerden que cada uno aprende de diferente manera. Y no quiere decir que al llegar al avanzado, pues puede que algunos hablen fluido porque le hayan dedicado más tiempo, etc. Pues que, puede que yo me sienta que aún me falta un poco más. Este, ahí sí no sé si habría un curso de refuerzo o algún curso de nada más speaking o listening, eh, pero este, al parecer serían más otros tres módulos más después del preavanzado, tres módulos más del avanzado, al parecer. Así que, pero si quiere puedo confirmar eso. Este, ¿Algo más? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? ¿Do we have another question? No. Okay, we are going to begin um, about the grammar. Uh, Cesar mentioned that we you were talking about solving problems about the platform, the grammar, and everything. So uh, we are going to review some topics, but also I will ask you about these topics, right? I will ask you if you can explain to me what you understand about the topic, what you think about the topic, right? If you can explain to me some rules. Uh, so that's what I will ask you. This will be like a review because supposedly you already know this kind of things, right? Supposedly, but we are going to review it. We are going to go step by step. And today we are going to begin with section two. You already checked uh, section two, right? Ya revisaron la sección dos, ¿verdad ustedes? You worked a little bit in the section two, right? Yes? No? No, no, no. no. Okay. No yet. Not yet, teacher. Okay, start start working. Start working in your free time. Start working in, start watching the videos. Start um, solving the problems, the exercises. And if you have any doubt, uh, we are going to solve it in classes. But we are going to do different activities here in this pre-advanced module, okay? So this is the objective for today. By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to describe problems with past participles as adjectives and with nouns. Entonces vamos a ver los pasados participios, adjetivos y nombres, okay? So be ready with that. Uh, keep in mind that, okay? Now we are going to begin. This is the introduction, right? What's wrong with it? So we have some common complaints, right? And we are going to, this is like the introduction. Um, let's see. One, some of the common complaints, right? For example, banking, right? Banking, sorry, not banking, banking. The credit card company bills you for something you didn't buy. That is a complaint, right? The credit card company bills you for something you didn't buy. Online shopping, the store sends you an incorrect size. So you complain after that, right? Internet providers, the internet connection is not reliable and you hardly ever get the speed you pay for. At restaurants, the server rushes you to leave as soon as you finish your meal. Vehicles, your new car consumes too much gas. Repair services, your TV breaks again a week after it was repaired. Parking garage, someone damages your car. So we have some common complaints here, right? Have you had or have you experienced any of these complaints before? Yes or no? Have you experienced like any problem with your credit card or when you go to a restaurant or with, you, with your vehicle or online shopping? Have you experienced anything like that before? Yes. What kind of problem have you had, Ilio? Okay, today mm -hmm. I went to the Agri Banco Agricola uh -huh. to complain about uh, because I pay online the university. Mm -hmm. the, um, the, pay, the month, monthly payment in the university. Mm -hmm. And in the, but always, they send me a message on my email, mm -hmm. like a confirmation that I have paid already. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what 
problem has been has been with the agricola bank in in that in last week mm -hmm. because uh, in the university they didn't receive my 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 information and they are they 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 work uh, they were complained with me because I didn't pay already. Mm -hmm. And I went to the bank at, at, in the mid, uh, at, at noon, at, at lunch time, and I and I solved that problem. They gave me a they gave me the the number of account that they that they saved the money that they put the money. Then I went I go I went to the university, and they solved my problem. They gave my receipt, and all was um okay later that okay. was my... mm -hmm. yes uh, that's a very common problem right because uh, a banco agricola has had like some problems the last week right the application was not working and you were not able to use it and a lot of people were complaining in yes. your case right that university was telling you that you haven't paid yet right but yes that is a common complaint and also you have to go to the bank and you have to spend time there. Yeah, it's it's a big deal. So that's the problem. That's something that we are going to talk about, how to solve some of these problems, right? This kind of complaints, how to express, right? Uh, let's see who else have had these kind of problems or like, for example, in a restaurant or have you had any accident that you were not, you were not at full uh, of this accident or any problem online shopping? Have you had any problem like that before? Yes, Sandra. Uh, okay. Um, Sunday, I order order by order a uh, to McDonald's. Uh -huh. Same in my house. Uh -huh. uh, hamburgers. <laughs> but, a hamburger. Uh huh. But then they call me because it's not possible for Ciudad Delgado no safe for. <laughs> No, no, same uh, McDonald's here, but that's not safe. That's what they told you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And what and happened? It's, it's near Alcaldia. It's, it's safe. Yeah. McDonald's, no, no, venir, uh, no can come to Ciudad Delgado. Uh -huh. and, but my credit card, because I pay for credit card. Uh, in the next month, the bill is my credit card, and I complain the McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So they bill you, they charge mm -hmm. your credit card, and you mm -hmm. didn't receive any hamburger. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because it was not safe. They tell you, oh, sorry, lady, it's not safe to send the delivery there. So, but anyways, they charge you. Uh -huh, you but my credit card, the bill is in my credit card. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, that's uh, that was a I problem, know. right? So you didn't uh, eat a I, hamburger and they charge you. I had to go McDonald's and put mm -hmm. the complaints. Mm -hmm. And did they solve the problem or not? Yes, yeah, resolve, but the month after. <laughs> after one month. Okay, <laughs> that's something really bad. Okay. Sorry for you, but uh, it was a good experience after one month, right? Very good. Let's see, Cesar, go ahead. Uh, did you have any complaint, or have you had any this any of these kind of experiences? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, only shop shopping case, but mm -hmm. uh, I subscribed to uh, a platform for six months, mm -hmm. but it was in automatic that the 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 pay of the bill, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, when the six, uh, first six months end, um, automatic uh, the bank discount from my credit, my my card, the the another six months, right? So, but I can't solve that. So, so you were subscribed other six months for one, that year. For one year. Yeah, and for you, one year, but I only need <laughs> six months. And did you did you complain? But, did you try to talk to them or the bank or something like that? Yeah, yeah uh, with the platform because the, uh -huh. it's, it, yeah. But and what did they say? 
was my wrong because I, I don't, I don't know, unselect the, the option that the automatic uh, discount. So for that, my grunt and I don't know, I can solve. You couldn't solve it. So the, it was your mistake, right? Because you didn't select the right yeah. option. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, even though if you complained, you said, okay, it's okay. You, I will, you will keep it for the next six months. Yeah, I understood because it's a useful platform, but uh, I only need six months, right? <laughs> okay, I understand. And what will happen after this next six months? It's uh, yeah, it's a platform for do videos, and I I I I use I use the 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 platform a lot. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, I I I I make a lot of videos and and other. Not like in in the first six months, but I use so I I, I can approach at the yeah the the, the platform. So. Okay, very good, but, very good. But you will cancel mistake, it in right? the future. <laughs> yes, guys. Just sometimes we commit mistake. We don't read the small letter right. So very good, yeah. perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. And Zulma, let's see, Zulma, did you have any complaint or have you had any any of these kind of experiences before? Yeah, complaints in the restaurant. Uh-huh. Uh, in the hamburger, hamburgers. Uh -huh. Hamburger, uh-huh. Hamburgers, uh-huh. Uh, I'm certain hamburger and restaurant. Uh, my son uh, likes to eat hamburger, but... I always tell them not to put seasoning aderezo, mm -hmm. seasoning uh, on the always put me on on it on it, uh -huh. onion uh -huh. uh on no siempre me le ponen aderezo. ah they always add seasoning uh -huh. ah, okay and my son uh, even cries because he doesn't like it, eh, eh, los aderezos, <laughs> eh, because, eh, bueno, I make mistake the order in the end, I change, eh, the, the change, eh, they change, but eh, always the same, always the same. <laughs> they always, they always <laughs> put the, the, the seasoning, the aderezo. Siempre, yo les digo, no, no, y always the same, es raro, always. raro. Yeah. Well, uh, <laughs> why, why don't you like, do you, don't you like, uh, you don't like mayonnaise, uh, you don't like mustard? Mm, nada de eso, le gusta. He doesn't like your, but it's your child, it's right? Like... It's your son or your, your, your daughter? Uh, my son, sí. Your son, sí. okay. Okay, okay I understand. La carne, la patis, y... Y el pan, ¿no? Okay, only Pero bread all, and meat, and that's it. Always the same. Okay, okay, very, that's that's really that's really weird, but uh, yeah, but if he doesn't like the dressing, that's okay. He needs to like they need to to serve it like you wish, right? As you wish. Very good, very good, very good complaints, very good examples. Let's see. So we are going to learn some of the vocabulary. Okay, let's see. Pago automático. How do you say pago automático in English? How do you say pago automático? Like in the credit card, right? Auto pay, right? We have to say the uh, auto pay, pago automático. How do you say uh, tomar ventaja? How do you say that? Take oh, aprovechar, up. right? Take advantage. Very good. Take advantage. We can take advantage of it, right? We are going to try to take advantage of uh, these English classes. And aderezo, right? In mayonnaise, mustard, ketchup is dressing, right? The dressing. El aderezo, right? Dressings. Okay, very good. Dressing. Perfect. So we will try to go uh, step by step and we will try to go uh slowly right in this english class so this is the introduction for complaints this unit is for complaints today and tomorrow we are going to talk about a little bit of, of this um have you listened to this conversation already ya escucharon esta conversación have you practiced it already no yet not no. yet not yet okay very good 
So we are going to practice it. We are going to read it first. And after um, this, this one that we are going to practice, we are going to listen to it again and we are going to practice more. But today, because of the time, we are going to practice it just once, okay? I'm going to read it and then you are going to practice it, okay? And if you have any question about any word or any structure or pronunciation, tell me, hey, teacher, what is this? A hey, teacher, how do you say this word, right? Tell me that, okay? So we're going to check here. It says, hello, uh, it's been Miss, Miss Luck and Mr. Bohr, right? Hello, Miss Luck, this is Jack Bohr. Mr. Bohr in apartment 305. Oh yes, what can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything I try to cook. Really? Okay, I'll have someone look at it right away. Thanks a lot, Miss Luck. Uh, by the way, Mr. Bohr, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? So that is the conversation. Do you have any questions about this conversation? Preguntas? Questions? Like any pronunciation, any new word? No, no questions? Okay, perfect. So we are going to practice it. Uh, yes. By the way, it's a proposito, verdad? Which one? By the way. By the way, por cierto. It's an expression, right? By the way, por cierto, right? Por yeah. cierto, y lo le quería mencionar eso. Right? By the way, I want to mention this, right? Eso es by the way, by the way. Very good. It's a, it's a new expression. Uh, now, I need two volunteers to practice this uh, first conversation. Dos voluntarios. Just two. Sí. Zuma and Cesar. Okay. Okay, Elio, we are going to practice the next class tomorrow, no problem. But we are going to start with Zulma and Cesar. Okay, Zulma, you will be Miss Luck, and Cesar, you will be Mr. Bohr. Go ahead, please. Okay. Hello. Hello, Miss Luck. This is Jack Bohr. Oh, Mr. Bohr? In, in apartment uh, 305. Mm hmm Oh, yes. What can I do for you? Does your refrigerator need fixing again? No, it's the oven this time. Oh, so what's wrong with, with it? Well, I think the temperature control needs to be adjusted. The oven keeps burning everything. I try to cook. To cook, to cook. Really? Okay, I will have someone look at it right, right away. Right away. Right away. Thanks a lot, Mr. Doc. Oh, by the way. Oh, by the way, Miss Bull, are you sure it's the oven and not your cooking? Very good. Perfect. Perfect. Clap for you. Perfect. Let's see. Uh, the word refrigerator, right? We can say it's fridge also or refrigerator. And uh, try to practice the um, pronunciation for uh, regular verbs in past, right? Adjusted, right? Uh, control, uh, temperature control needs to be adjusted. Okay, very good, perfect. Let's see who else is here. Let's see what time it is, 8.53. Rafael, what was the conversation about, Rafael? ¿De qué se trató la conversación? What was the conversation about? It's about uh, uh, Mr. Byrne has a problem with the oven. Exactly, exactly. And what happened with the oven? The oven uh, burning the, the food when, when, when he... We started. Yes, when he tried to cook, right? He burned everything, right? And that's the reason why Miss Luck at the end, she asked, probably he's not cooking very well, right? Very good, perfect, Rafael. Thank you, thank you. So we are going to practice this conversation later, right? No problem. 
uh, for the ones who, who hasn't practiced yet, we are going to practice later. Um, we are going to check this also tomorrow. This is the, a listening part. I think that it's kind of long. So we're going just to read it to be prepared for tomorrow. It says, that's not right perspective. It says, uh, we are going to, tomorrow, we are going to listen to people describe complaints. And we are going to check what you think each person should do. So we are going to listen five people. Uh, the first one says, I got a new suitcase, but when I arrive home, I noticed the lining was torn. Um, so what this person should do, right? Take it back to the store or ask the store to send you a new one. Number two, my father sent me a coffee mug with uh, my favorite Tim's logo, but when it arrived, it was chipped. Tell your father about it or contact the seller yourself. Number three, I lent my ski pants to a friend, but when he returned them, there was a big stain on them. Number four, my boss borrowed my camera for a company event and now the lens is scratched. And number five, I bought a new washing machine just a month ago and it's leaking already. So that's what we are going to listen tomorrow. We, this is a listening, right? So uh, tomorrow try to take notes. If you have a book or if you have a notebook, if you have a notepad in your computer, Try to bring with you a book, okay? So you can take notes. That will be easier for you. I'm going to play it twice, but that will be tomorrow because we are about to finish. And uh, we have an activity. Tomorrow, I want you to investigate about nouns. What is a noun and what is a past participle? So I will ask you, for example, uh, Sandra Patricia, right? Tell me, what is a noun for you? Uh, give me an example of a noun. How do we use nouns? Uh, do we have countable nouns? Do we have uncountable nouns? And also past participles, right? For example, uh, uh, tomorrow, right? For example, I can ask Eliu, right? Eliu, uh, what is a past participle, Eliu? And Eliu will explain to me, ah, oh, this is this, this is that. And we are going to have different examples. This is for you to understand the grammar because we are going to, this is just a review. Solo repaso, es un repaso, right? So we are going to do this tomorrow and we are going to try to, to work with it because tomorrow we are going to explain the grammar. So tomorrow we are going to have uh, the, the listening and we are going to uh, check new vocabulary, right? You can check the new vocabulary right now. For example, lining, lining, what is lining, right? For example, Lining, for example, it says, I got a new suitcase, but when I arrived home, I noticed the lining was turned. The lining is the thing that is outside, right, of the suitcase, como lo que lo cubre, right? Was torn. What is torn? What is the meaning of torn, right? Torn is like uh, como rasgado, right? It's torn, right? So you can check the new vocabulary also when you listen to it. Uh, a coffee mug. What is a coffee mug, right? What is chipped? What does it mean chipped, right? Uh, what is, uh, let's see what else, stain. What is a stain? If I, if I tell you your shirt has a stain on it, what does it mean stain, right? Scratch. What is the meaning of scratch? What is scratch? If I say the lens, your lenses, your glasses are scratched, right? Probably. Uh, leaking. What is a leaking? You already know leaking, right? What is a leaking? What is the meaning of leaking? Leaking is a uh, mm -hmm. something is brown and is there are a drop of, of liquid fluid exactly fluid right that is uh, dropping liquid exactly leaking on agotera right it's dropping very good dropping liquid very good so that's a leaking right so we are going to new new vocabulary about this so try to check it that's what we are going to do tomorrow now um, I'm just going to check well I do know it, previously in the past. Uh, classes in the past module, do, do they take um, the attendance? Tomaban la, la asistencia, si o no? No. Okay. Okay. So we are not going to do it. Uh, probably it's, it's, not, it's not needed. So uh, do you have any question right now? Alguna pregunta de lo que vimos hoy o lo que vamos a hacer mañana? Any question? No, only about the attendance. Uh, some uh -huh. teachers take a, a screenshot 
Go mm -hmm. to class. Only that. Okay. Yeah, probably I will do that. Okay. Probably I will do that. I will take a screenshot. And tomorrow we are going to continue with this. And if you need this presentation, I will share with you um, in on Friday, okay? When we finish this section one and two, okay? So if you don't have any questions, uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, glad to see you. And hopefully I will see you tomorrow at eight, okay? Good night, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, have a nice night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.